this is honestly the worst coffee I've ever had. Being downtown, I noticed that some people, they can get confused and think that downtown is Chicago, but there's so much more to Chicago that I think a lot of people don't realize. I don't come here that much unless I'm going to shop one and another one, I guess, having fun in like the large parks, going to a conference. And honestly, I don't go here all the time unless it's like an outing or just hanging out, doing something. But on a daily basis, I'm hanging out in my area and just um, finding nice new spots to study that aren't overcrowded. I would say overall from being in high school, being on the South Side, it is a huge difference when you are in college and you have the chance to decide where you wanna go and where you wanna hang out and decide your lifestyle, honestly. So I would say overall, I really like being in college as a, or being in Chicago as a college student, I would say it's really nice. And it's a lot different than being in high school where you don't really have the choice on what kind of lifestyle you live. Being on the south side of Chicago, it's very, I would say, different because of the food desert and there's not really a lot of resources. Um, I would say like just being there, there's not a lot of stores, like you wouldn't find like a Lululemon or anything fancy. I would say it's a lot different depending on where you are. And I just like, really like the location for UIC. It's just in a place that's, it's like in a very diverse area. It's still like in the city. So you see, you get like a realistic idea like where you're at. But overall, I would say it's a lot better than where I grew up. And it's a lot more opportunities, I would say. Being in Chicago, I think the fashion is a lot different than if you're like in a smaller city, honestly. Um, you really quickly notice that it's not gonna cut it wearing like a dirty t-shirt, wearing shorts, you're gonna get probably humiliated being around so many people who are dressed so nice. And I think it's easy to just really want to just look really nice and to be like, honestly, like Chicago is, Chicago is one of the biggest like fashion places I would say and it's a big fashion spot for people who want to like explore fashion and to attend fashion shows there's so many different fashion shows and a lot of people who put a lot of effort into like what they're wearing honestly so I personally when I come downtown I really like to look my best and to just try out different looks to see what I feel confident wearing. And I don't know, I just try to look my best. There's just this, not pressure, but you feel more motivated to look nice sometimes. I don't know, some people are different. They'll just wear whatever, but I personally like to look my best. Um, just being in a big city like this, it's like you never know who you're gonna be around. What's gonna be the vibe for today? That's kind of what I like to do and I think I really like being in the city. It's kind of like an off-brand New York City. Overall, I think being a woman in Chicago, it's very complicated because you don't know how safe you can be when you're outside. It can be really uncomfortable when you don't know if you're safe or not because you don't know who's gonna come up to you. And I think that's like one of my main concerns when I'm outside, I don't really feel comfortable all the time. But I think what helps me is just using common sense, honestly. Things I like to do is just like, obviously like not going outside when it's dark and not, you know, being in neighborhoods that I don't feel familiar with. And yeah, it's just all about just using you know, what you know about the city and ask people, is it safe or is it not? And that usually gets rid of like a big chunk of like the risk of going outside, honestly. 
don't be afraid to ask people to come with you if you're going somewhere late. I think in Chicago, there's like areas that you shouldn't avoid or areas that you definitely want to avoid. And they're like where the crime mostly happens. Um, and you really just have to stay up to date on what's going on in the city, especially as a woman. I think, um, you know, men sometimes, me personally, they will just come up to me and they feel the need to, you know, compliment or whatever. And usually, like, I don't care, just let them walk past. Only, like, maybe one time someone has come up to me and made me feel uncomfortable and kind of has harassed me um, and forced me to give them my number. And in that situation, I felt very uncomfortable and I felt like I wish I had a can of mace or, like, <laughs> a taser or something so that they could like back up a little bit but other than that it's not really that bad just saying really whatever they want to say honestly and basically like unsolicited compliments that you don't care to get honestly one piece of advice though if a guy comes up to you and he starts flirting with you and he asks for your number and stuff like that's all cool and all if you want to say no definitely say no or just don't respond but me personally, I don't think the man of my dreams is gonna be on the street or at the bus, waiting for the bus because he has a car, okay? So he is not gonna be on the streets. He's gonna find me somewhere nice. It's gonna be somewhere of interest, not just on the streets. So I don't think any of that attention is necessary or wanted. At least for me, I don't care about getting male attention on the street because Usually it's not the kind of attention I want. Thank you for watching. Don't be discouraged. Study in Chicago if you really want to. Don't let people from the suburbs tell you that it's dangerous or that you won't be able to survive here because there's something for everybody here, honestly, and there's a lot to love. So I'm just trying to spread love for my city because this is a great city. And don't let don't let uneducated people who don't know Chicago or who have never been here before tell you that this isn't the place for you. If you're going away to college or you are looking for a new place to live, definitely consider Chicago. It's a great city. And honestly, I think there's a lot of things to explore. and. Just a lot here to unpack and obviously the list can go on. Okay, I'm about to leave because the sun is setting. The sun is setting.